Good afternoon to all of you. Uh, with ma'am's permission, ma'am principal, Dr. Shapandra Sattangi Jaina's permission, uh, we begin the program, ma'am. Uh, there are still five minutes to go, Madhavita. Yes, ma'am. Oh, the word is showing uh, 29. Okay. It's yes, showing 225 in my mobile. Okay, ma'am. So, okay, we'll start after five minutes. Let everybody join. Yeah. Okay.
dear all, I extend a warm greeting of the day to all the attendees of the webinar. CSK in Public School welcomes all the distinguished guests and dear educators and scholars from all over the, all over the world to this August gathering. <clears throat> this webinar is a long time dream and a brainchild of our dear mom principal, Dr. Shakuntala Satsangi Jaini, a dream of bridging the gap between nations and bringing them closer. So is the choice of topics for the events. Today is a baby step towards realizing that dream. The countries that have joined us today from Malaysia, Serbia, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Indonesia, but it is really unfortunate that School 31, Kharkov, Ukraine, is not able to join us due to unavoidable circumstances. We regret this and pray to God that everything may be all right with the time. It's a matter of great pride and honor to inform you all that today we have with us Ms. Gerardine Raj, School Improvement Specialist, Coach Plus, Language Officer, uh, Petaling Utama District Education Officer from Mah Malaysia as a special guest. We, CSK in Public School extends a warm, warm welcome to you, ma'am. We are also very fortunate enough that Dr. Parvez Alam, Director Academics, Veena Vidyaniketan, and an eminent educationist has very kindly consented to judge today's program of poetry station and speech. Thank you so much, sir. Time is very short and without much delay, I invite my student master of the ceremony for today, Anna <coughs> and Sarah Reji and Mohit Mathur. Thank you, ma'am. I am Sarah Reji. I am Mohit Mathur. Welcome the teaching fraternity from all over the world. We would like to take this opportunity to pay our humble obeisance to all of you. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri Guru Venama, Tasmai Shri Guru Venama, Tasmai Shri Guru Venama. The meaning of this loka is Guru or the teacher, is the creator, preserver, and the destroyer. The teacher is the absolute Lord Himself. I salute to that Shri Guru, the teacher, the dispeller of dispeller of darkness, the personification of the creator, preserver, and the quality of God himself. We bow down to all the educators of the world. We welcome the brothers and sisters of the world who have consented to participate in the program on this August occasion. We begin this program with the blessings of Almighty God. I request Ma'am Prem Kohli, Ma'am Shilpi Sharma, and Ma'am Vandana Singh to escort our honorable principal, Dr. Shakuntala Satsangi Jaman to light the ceremonial lamp. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. We are very fortunate enough to have student representatives of school from various parts of the world, and I'm very eager to know about each other. Isn't it, Anne? Yes, you are right, Mohu. We begin the first event of program about the school. Atul Sharma of Grade 11 will speak about Colonel Satsangi Kiran Memorial School. Namaste. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to all the educators and my friends from all over the world. I, Atul Sharma, on behalf of the CSK fraternity, 
would like to tell you something in brief about my school. My school, CSK Public School, or the Colonel Satsangi's Kiran Memorial Public School, is a huge complex, seated in the lap of clean, green, and serene environment of the Mother Nature. Our school is situated in the national capital, New Delhi, the capital of India. Our school was established in 1986 by an excellent, eminent educationist and visionary, Sri late, late Lieutenant Colonel Prem Saran Satsangi, Vishish to Seva Medal, 1979 awardee from the Army Educational Corps. He had a philosophy that a child must be taught at his pleasure, not at his peril. So in accordance to this, our school follows a nil failure system. In, and you know friends, in spite of this nil failure system, our school produces 100% result in board examination. Our principal, Dr. Shakundra Satsangi Jam, the daughter of the charismatic educationist, late Lieutenant Colonel P.S. Satsangi, is herself an academician par excellence. She always reminds us that hard work come, achievement comes through hard self work and there is no shortcut to it. Well, the time is less. So without much ado, I would like to end with this. My school works 24 seven and my school works 24 seven because the motto of our school is busy with pleasure. So I would like to conclude my words with a few lines. CSKM AEC, we belong to this UC. And to tell you honestly, we are actually rooted. Thank you very much. Thank you, Atul. Now, Lena Nikolic from 8th September School, Serbia, will tell us about her school. <laughs> Lena, the stage is all yours. Hi, my name is Lena. I'm from Serbia, Pirot. I'm 13 year years old, and I'm here to tell you about my school. My school is a safe and uh, fun place for children. It, it's located in Pirot, Serbia. Uh, Pirot, Serbia is uh, southeast in Serbia and southeast of Europe. And um, our school was established in 1961. It's a public school, uh, and it's one of the four middle schools in my region. And everybody in my school is accept acceptable of uh, faith, uh, religion, and political views. Uh, we accept people based on how they treat us, not because of looks and different lifestyles. We are all equal, uh, equal and all have the same rights. We'll, you always have a friend here, no matter what, and somebody, someone is always there for you. We stand for each other, and the most important thing is that we respect each other. My school is the best school, and I really do enjoy my time, time there. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me. And... Thank you, Lena, for your valuable information and partner. Now, I would like to invite Sufia Noor Binti Jafri from Kelana Jayawan Primary School, Malaysia. A very good day to distinguished guests, kids of schools, teachers, and fellow friends. My name is Sufia Nardjafri, and today I would like to give a speech about my school, Kalanajaya One Primary School. My school is located in Kalanajaya, in the district of Selangor, in the district of Petaling, Selangor, Malaysia. My school has been acknowledged as one of the cluster schools of excellence. The motto of my school is Usaha Pasti Jaya which means effort ensures success. My school is one of the top five schools in my district. I am very lucky and proud to be accepted to become one of the students. I started standard one in the year 2017. There are many specialties about this school. One of the most important strengths about this school is the teachers. The teachers are always committed in ensuring the quality of the students. Besides focusing on academics, teachers at Klamajaya 1 Primary School also prepare the students to be actively involved in extracurricular activities such as sports, clubs, associations, as well as uniform units. In school, they play similar roles as our parents. They guide, motivate, and support us to become a balanced and capable, capable person 
physically, mentally, and emotionally. In addition, the learning environment at Klanajairo and Primary School is conducive and comfortable. We get to explore and learn interactively. All facilities are well equipped at my school. Teachers do not only teach us in class, but they also teach us to be active. They also teach us outside of the class, such as doing experiments in the science laboratory or at the field. That is why my school is special. My school's English panel, my school's English panel has organized various programs to encourage and boost pupils' confidence in using English every day. Yearly, groups of students visit various countries and collaborate with schools there, such as our sister school in Korea, New Zealand, and Australia. The pandemic did not stop the English panel to conduct an EPEL program with Korea and India. Today, my school has produced many successful alumni. I am very proud because my school has become a center of excellence. I would like to end my speech with a simple quote. Education is the key to success. Let's love and appreciate our school. Thank you so much, Sophia. Subeksha Yadav of Naujeevan Higher Secondary School, Samakushi, Nepal. Please tell us about your school. Good afternoon and namaskar to all the dignitaries. I'm Subek Shayadab of Standard 10 from Navazivan Educational Academy, Nepal. I am very grateful to be the part of this program today conducted by CSKM School, India. Before sharing about my school, as India enters its 75th year of independence, about um, it's very important that we continue to cherish and practice the same ideals and values the great countrymen held during their struggle to build an independent India. On this wonderful occasion, on behalf of Nepal as a citizen and a student of Navazivan School and College, I would like to wish, celebrate and commemorate 75 years of progressive India and the glorious history of its people, culture and achievements. My school, Navazivan Educational Academy, is located in Samakusi, Chow, Kathmandu. It offers education across level of kindergarten to school, leaving certificate level, along with 10 plus 2 and bachelor's in science and commerce specializations with affiliation from NEB. Navazivan Educational Academy is a widely known educational institute in Nepal, where every child is seen as a winner. The school has a 39 years old history and rebranded in the year 2076 with the logo Initiate Happiness. Happiness of each of our stakeholders, students, teachers, parents, and community is the ultimate priority. At Navazivan, a great social atmosphere and optimal educational results go hand in hand. The school aims to create a school environment where children learn a lot and enjoy coming to the school. This is supported on a daily basis by the team of enthusiastic and highly motivated teaching, administrative, and auxiliary staffs. As a cultural-based school with an international dimension, the school places great importance on creating the best possible climate to live and work in, creating a homey feeling. Novas even offers a child-friendly, well safe, organized, and environment where children are encouraged to target learning in cooperation with their peers. With long glorious history, the school has become offering diverse programs from preschool to bachelor's level and expansion plans to add more programs in progression. To thrive academically and beyond, we have co-curriculum co activities which includes variety of inter-house competitions like singing, dancing, drama, storytelling, debates, and music. Cultural programs out at our school include wide variety of cultural dances, dramas, songs, fashion, 
appropriate and anchoring techniques. Our holistic development program and mindful curriculum accentuates on teaching us meditation, breathing techniques, and emotional intelligence. Thank you. Thank you so much, Subeksha. Now we have with us Sudipto Shah from Bangladesh to tell us about his school, the Ebenezer International School. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sudipto Shah, and I'm representing Ebenezer. Sudipto Shah, the floor is all yours. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sudipto Shah, and I am representing Ebenezer International School from Bangladesh. Our school is situated in the capital of Bangladesh, Dhaka, in a restricted area called Boshindara. Our school motto goes by the phrase that every child deserves world-class education. I would like to start by saying my school provides excellent opportunities in education for students all around the globe. In senior sections, our school follows the international curriculum. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, Sudipto. Can you please raise your voice? Oh, okay. Sorry, Thank you. Is having some issues. Uh, just as I was saying, in senior sections, our school follows the international curriculum. Presently, we are following the O-level curriculum by, by Cambridge International Examination, CIE. The teachers we have are well-trained and experienced, with most of them having years of educational background. The grace and enlightenment that they provide enable us to pursue education with courage and with determination. Despite such wonderful world-class education that students receive here, the best part of my school lies in its extracurriculum activities. This is because my school offers a plethora of activities ranging from music orchestras to soccer tournaments to chess matches. I specifically enjoy debating with my fellow pupils as I love the friendly competitive environment. Additionally, I would like to point out that most of our school students are foreigners rather than Bengali, and therefore there is a mixture of pupils of all races, ethnicity, and culture. This opens up great opportunities for students to interact with people all around the world, significantly enhancing their communication skills in hopes of preparing them for studying abroad. Among the foreigners we have here, most of them are Koreans, the occasional Indonesians, Malays, and even Singaporeans. My favorite part about school are the trips and tours we partake in, among, uh, and in the span of last four years, our school has managed to take make collective trips to the popular Caucasus Bajar beach, along with the island of St. Martin, and even reaching out to countries such as Nepal and Thailand. However, due to the present situation of COVID-19 pandemic, our school has been taking online classes for its students over the Zoom platform. Despite this, classes are made interesting for students by means of interactive and fun lessons, Ebenezer International School stands strong in providing every child the world-class education he or she deserves, and I am therefore proud to be a part of it. Thank you all for listening to what I have to say about my school. Thank you so much, Sudipto. Now, I would like to call upon Maria Mohammad Fari from Egypt to tell us about her school, Temai Al Amdi Preparatory School for Girls. Do we have Mariam from Tamay Alamdeed? I think she was unable to join. There was some problem. So we can move ahead yeah. with the program. Okay. Right? Yeah. Uh, we can so now I request Aliza Munir from Pakistan, who will give who will tell us about her school, Government Girls Higher Secondary School, Mong Bahauddin. She's not even there. Uh, you can repeat once again, please. Yeah. Call once again. So now I request Aliza Munir from Pakistan, who will tell us about her school, Government Girls Higher Secondary School, Mong Bahauddin. Aliza Munir? Yeah, I think.
सॉरी एलिजा यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल please unmute yourself we can see your presentation but we can't hear your voice uh, fasiha batul we can see your presentation nahi yes yeah. Sorry to say, but you are not audible. And very good afternoon to all of you. Yeah. I am Aliza Munir, Grade Nine, student okay. from okay. Government Girls Higher Secondary School, Mon, Mandi Bhavi, yeah. Pakistan. My okay. school, Government Girls Higher Secondary School, Mon, is a unique and distinguished. In situated of Mandi Bhavi district. It is a well-populated rural area of Punjab, Pakistan. Our school has twelve grades. There are four sections of school building, from primary to higher, with thirty fully decorated classrooms. Fourteen hundred students are studying here in kind and friendly environment under the supervision of thirty teachers. Our school timing is from 8:30 a.m. to 2:30 p.m. Dress code for my school is blue and white uniform with black shoes and gray socks. Our school has a massive library with many interesting story books. It has also a fully equipped computer lab with modern computers. In science room, we do experiments. Under the supervision of dedicated teachers, we also have activity room where students spend their time in doing creativity according to their imagination. Every morning, school is started in exercise and fitness. For this, various events are being organized throughout the academic year. Thank you, Eliza. Finally, we have Yadidia Mikela Arena from Sikola Dian, Harappan Maidan, Indonesia, to speak about her school. Hello, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity that has been given to me to speak in this moment. I'm Mikela, and I'm Grade Six from Sikola Dian, Harappan. I have been in this school for five years, starting from Grade Two. Until grade six, in this school, I learn about God deeper, and I understand more. I am very happy to be in this school. The subjects are very good, and I really love the subject music. It is very easy, and it is very fun in my opinion. In this school, I, we also do projects. Like the recent project that I've ever made is making a pizza, and you do math calculations with it, and it was kind of tricky but fun. I am this school is one of the best school in my opinion, and I have the most best experience in this school. I am really grateful to represent this school in this moment. Thank you for listening, everyone. Thank you, Aditya. It was a wonderful information. The great poet Robert Frost had once quoted, "When in the, uh, poetry is when an emotion has found its thought, and the thought has found words." So now we are going to have a self-composed poetry recitation on the topic 
what patriotism means to me. We begin this segment by inviting Muhammad yes, Rav Samuel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we call upon uh, the student from Temai Alamdeed. If she has joined, she was able to join or not, just call upon the person to talk about his school. Now, I would like to call upon Maria Muhammad Fari from Egypt to tell us about her school, Temai Al Amdi Preparatory School for Girls. Maria Muhammad Fari. Are you there, Maria Muhammad? Have you joined? I think then we can move. Right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can move. So now we are going, uh, we begin this segment by inviting Muhammad Rev Samuel Binti Azreen from Kelana Jayawan Primary School, Malaysia. Muhammad Rev Samuel. Good day to all of the distinctive heads of schools teachers, and friends. My name is Raim Shamil, and I am 12 years old, and I'm a student here in Klanajaya One Primary School. My country, Malaysia, is very dear to me, so I have written a poem, and I want to share with all of you. Staring to an open space, thinking of this beautiful place, Malaysia. The land of unity, praying for its continuous peace and prosperity. Our home, which is made up of unique diversities, lots of food, celebration, and festivities. And being blessed for its great opportunities and nature. Definitely. Promising a bright future. On the 31st of August annually, we celebrate our National Day cheerfully. Raising Jalo Gamilan with pride and passion. Singing Nagaraku, portraying a united nation. Indeed, you are the best, O oh Malaysia. I am proud and I love my homeland, Malaysia. Thank you, Malaysia. Malaysia, truly Asia. Thank you. Thanks, Rav Samuel. So eloquent. Please give him a big round of applause. Next up, I call upon Mia Milano of 8th September School, Serbia, to recite her self-composed poem. Uh, hello, I'm her teacher. Uh, Mia is absent now, and Lena is going to recite the poetry, okay? Yeah, ma'am, okay. Hello, I'm going to recite the poem like the teacher said. So here we go. What patriotism means to me. Patriotism is a strong word that is within a person's heart. Love towards the homeland, loyalty and trust. Homeland is the beauty of, the, of nature with its cozy rivers and fish in their water. Homeland is the beauty of the rocky mountains and wavy hills to, uh, which touch the sky. Homeland is the beauty of spacious lakes with uh, meadows and numerous flora and fauna. Homeland, uh, joyous children and proud people. Though uh, symbols of our country, the flag, red, blue, and white, with its emblem, we represent, we represent the best of who we are. Can I say something? That's Lena, and uh, she has a problem with her um, camera, so we cannot see her, unfortunately. It's okay, ma'am. So now I would like to thank Mia for that. <laughs> Next, I request Icha Dhakal of Navjeevan Higher Secondary School, Samakoshi, Nepal, for the recitation of her self-composed poem. 
Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ichya Rakal of Standard 8 from Navajivan Educational Academy, Nepal. First of all, on this very occasion of 75th year of independent India, I wish all of us happy independent and wish to observe the day with enthusiasm and celebration. I feel exceedingly proud and privileged to have got an opportunity to recite a poem and my poem goes this way. What patriotism means to me? Love towards a country is patriotism. It shows the feelings of nationalism. Let's not think about day and night. To gain justice, we always have to fight. For protections of the nations, ancestors have done lots of sacrifice, even when their throats were dry and their body in the states of saying goodbye, and their body in the states of saying goodbye. By joining each other's hand, we can protect our sand. Dedications of ancestors and martyrs lay a wreath and offers prayers, sacrification a lips to make us free, contributions towards a nation is patriotism for me. Contributions towards a nation is patriotism for me. Candle burn itself to generate light. Let's not look for our personal selfishness and focus to make our nation bright and focus to make our nation bright. Thank you. so much each other call for a wonderful poetry recitation. Coming up next is Marwa Abdel of Tamai al Amdeen Preparatory School, Egypt, for the recitation of a self-composed poem. Please repeat. Please repeat and ask yeah. them again. I think they're not there. Okay. Coming up next is Marwa Abdel of Tamai Al Amdi Preparatory School, Egypt, for the recitation of a self composed poem. It seems she is not there. She is not able to connect. It's the play. Connected. She's there. It seems she's not been able to connect. So let's go. Absolutely. Now, I request Zana Fatima of Government Girls Higher Secondary School, Mong Bahaudin, Pakistan, to take the center stage and recite her poem. Okay, now, I request Zana Fatima of Government Girls Higher Secondary School, Mong Bahaudin, Pakistan, to take the center stage and recite her poem. And good afternoon. I am Zana Fatima from Bete, from Government School, Higher and School, Monday Pauli, Pakistan. Today, I will share my words with all of you. What patriotism means to me? As a day, when I open my eyes, watching green fields, I felt my tired. Noting my thoughts to help my people a lot. I become ready to deliver what I got, investing myself in making this smile. I proudly think its future is bright, putting my efforts to make it better. Common fear to collect what is shattered. Be our nation's giant hands in hand. We stayed behind, saying no to burn. Ready to sacrifice till lost drop of blood. For sure, this is our land of pure. This is our land of pure. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Zanab. You were just amazing. Next up, we have Lana Ambarita of Sikolan Dian, Harappan Medan, Indonesia, to recite her self written poem. To my home, to my country, I create a poem I hope to last for center. Patriotism loves of one's nationalism. That's what is in me. That's what I want to be. Something which the country cannot live without. Something which the country longs for. Let us love our country. Let us fight for it. An education I fight to bring a light. An education I let everyone see that we all can be strong and free. An education I learn to be bold and have a heart of gold. The leaves, the lands are part of us. Whether we are near and far, we should not let go our identity of who we are. Thank you. Thank you, Lana. You are so mellifluous. Finally, I invite Srishti Kashyap from Colonel Satsangi Kiran Memorial School, India, to present her self created poem. everyone. Today, I, Srishti Kashyap, am going to recite a self-composed poem on the topic, What Patriotism Means to Me. Loyalty to the country, respect for the nation. This is what patriotism means to me. Having faith in the soldiers, paying respect to the ultimate sacrifice. This is what patriotism means to me. To unite with each other for the sake of the nation, this is what patriotism means to me. To fight for the nation when times are harsh, this is what patriotism means to me. To maintain hygiene for the health of the citizens, this is what patriotism means to me. To Put in for the development of the country of one's hundred percent. This is what patriotism means to me. To use one's head, heart, and hand to shape the nation's future. This is what patriotism means to me. To be global but by local. To embrace the world as one family. Yes, for Sudeva Kutumbukam is what patriotism means to me. To me, as a student, as a daughter and voice of India, my mother, to study, to understand, to follow in spirit, a constitution for justice, liberty, equality, fraternity, is what patriotism means to me. Is what patriotism means to me. Thank you. Thank you, Sisi. You were so soothing. Peace and harmony are the two key elements which pave the way for a happy, prosperous, and a progressive world. But we found ourselves in the midst of a world where there is chaos, disturbance, and unrest. So, uh, so our duty as the future building blocks of this society is to uphold peace and human dignity. These students here are going to have a healthy discourse on the topic, roles of students in upholding World's peace and harmony. First up, I invite Arinam Sur of Ebenezer International School, Bangladesh to deliver his speech. Hey, very good afternoon to everyone. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I am Arinam Sur from Bangladesh and I'm here to present what is the role of students in upholding world peace and harmony? Frankly speaking, initially, I thought that students do not have a role in upholding world peace and harmony which is rather the opposite of what we're talking about. I thought UNESCO and other political organizations took care of it. 
But after much thought, I decided to write this essay because one thought came into my mind. Yes, students do have a role in upholding world peace and harmony. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you did not already notice, our generation is more virtuous than the last one. Uh, there was a recent survey done and they found out that racism, sexism is not as prevalent as it was five decades ago. That is a major improvement. Uh, but however, this is not true about environmental destruction and poaching of animals. Animals are dying at a faster rate today than ever before because of hunting, for sport, and for making fancy rugs. Uh, I just want to inform everyone that fancy rugs are not cool. Please do not kill animals. As students, we have a role in upholding world peace and harmony by studying hard and learning about things because we are the generations who will hold the torch for political and scientific discoveries later on. Uh, as you may have heard of Greta Thunberg, she's a Swedish activist who vlogs about environmental protection. Many of you have probably heard of her, as I had said. She's raising awareness by protesting and against the oil companies who are destroying our environment. Even you already know, many nations joined the COPA 2030 agreement. They signed to uh, reduce emissions by 2030, but, well, they're doing it the other way. They're not doing it in the linear fashion, but rather in a much more destructive way, putting more CO2 into the atmosphere. This is not nice because acid rain actually kills the environment. Acid rain is caused by nitrogen dioxide, for those of you who don't know. Also, sulfur dioxide has a part in it. So what can we do? What can we young people do for the environment? Well, we can vlog about it, protest about it, raise awareness about it. Because as far as I know, we are the next generation to uphold political peace. Just imagine an utopian future where parties and nations do not fight each other, but rather they talk it out and hold debates about it and sign treaties about it. Well, I think this utopian world is possible if we take up responsibility now, if we become self-aware of all the destructions going on, if we inform of the older generation the damage they have caused. That is, unless we don't blow ourselves with nukes right now. Russia and Ukraine, they're not looking too good. Thank you very much. You are so articulate in presenting the appropriate version. Next, I request Kusum Bhatta of Navjeevan Higher Secondary School, Samakoshi, Nepal, to present her speech. If we are to create peace in the world, we must begin with the children, a quote by Mahatma Gandhi. Wishing everyone a splendid afternoon. Namaskar and good afternoon to all the dignitaries present here. I am Kusum Bhatta of Standard 9 from Navajivan Educational Academy, Nepal. I would like to wish CSKM School a happy 75th year of independent India. And let me honor the struggles of many brave hearts who fought for the country's freedom. Thank you for the opportunity to share my thoughts about the role of school students in upholding world peace and harmony. I place all the to the earth and to all life that is nourishes, all growing things, all species of animals, and all races of people. I promise to protect all life of our planet, to live in harmony with nature, and to share our resources justly so that all people can live with dignity, in good health, and in peace. Reciting a peace play is a good practice that should be done daily in the, daily in the classroom, in the school. School students can proudly display the world peace flag as an important reminder of what our world should be and what we can do as a student in upholding world peace. As a student, I would say education encourages independent thinking and it opens the door to new ideas. Independent thinkers tend to try to make sense of the world and draw their own conclusions instead of blindly following the beliefs of others. Therefore, with practical education and experiential knowledge, we as a youth of a global world can play the role of peacemaker in our classroom, school, and community, and in the global world through awareness, 
and our actions. Students understand the importance of peace by learning to care for their classroom environment, as well as other around them. They can be involved in uh, work that is meaningful and has a specific purpose, work that allows them to be a beneficial members of the community, which would be helping upholding peace, learning how to verbally resolve our conflicts rather than acting on impulse and physically hurting another friend. We can use kind words and gestures in the classroom with our siblings and in the community and never emotionally hurt another friend by calling their names. Respect of diversity. In our school community, we embrace a mutual respect for diversity as we all, as well as a variety of cultural and international holidays. If we share the same respect to our juniors, seniors, they will grow to have a deeper appreciation and understanding of all cultures. Let's be kind to the vulnerable people, the homeless, those with physical and cognitive disabilities, older people, and anyone else that appears different to us. Developing empathy and sharing with it with everyone whom we meet would help in upholding world peace and harmony. At last, I would say a school student play major role in sharing, awareing, and depicting peace through their behavior to their friends, family, community, and to the global world. Thank you. Thank you, Kusum. You were brilliant. Now it's time to request Hamid Al Matwali of Tamai Al Adid Preparatory School for Girls, Egypt, to declaim her speech. Now it's time to request Hamid Al Madwali of Tamai Al Amdi Preparatory School for Girls to declaim her speech. I think she's not online, so uh, move ahead. I request Nabila Ahmed of Government Girls Higher Secondary School. Mong Bahaudi, Pakistan, to present her speech. Assalamu alaikum and very good afternoon to all of you. I am Nabil Ahmad from Day 10, student from Government Girls High School School, Mong Mandi Bahaudi, Pakistan. Today, I am here to share my view on the role of school students in upholding world peace and harmony. We all have an essential role in promoting peace in the world. Students also have a contribution in peacemaking. Students' role in today's society is not only limited to technology, progression, or improvement in their social and economic value, but also to learn the lesson of harmony, humbleness, tolerance, quality, and justice. Students are not merely individual to strengthen society and eradicate the negativities, but also to build a peaceful society and world. Educa education brings awareness in students. Students on their level should try to build a positive, faithful, progressive environment where they can maintain state of calmness and personal responsibilities. In today's world, students can promote world peace by writing blogs on internet. Likewise, a literature student can write essays poems, and stories on the topic of peace and harmony of world. Students are the future of this world. During their educational years, they can learn and experience various situations. Therefore, a student should never take an aggressive approach or take part in any kind of political activity for this purpose. Their education and learning is most powerful and impactful weapon to light against causes disturbing world peace and harmony. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Nabila. You were so splendid. Next up, I entry Senta Pesic of 8th September School, Serbia to deliver her speech. Hello, thank you for having me. I'm Senka. I am the student of 8th September School in Vila, Serbia. And uh, thank you a lot for having me and letting me talk about the student's role in uh, keeping the world peace and harmony. And um, so 
I think we are the generation that can and, sh and should use a modern technology as our advantage to learn about um, equality and acceptance. Now, I feel like not enough children are taught at an appropriate age to accept people uh, that are different. Different is seen as bad and different is seen as something that should be uh, ignored. And um, I feel like we definitely should break that cycle of uh, teaching children about uh, that. And we need to use modern technology first to educate ourselves and then to educate people who are not aware of that uh, to be uh, to, to accept uh, people of different races, political views, etc. So um, now uh, I feel like older generations had a, a big uh, had uh, really influenced that, and I, as one person, as a student, I do not know what everyone in the world's view is on this. But what I do know is that if our generation is taught the wrong things like xenophobia, racism, and so on, it might be too late. And I, we are the generation that needs to make the change in the world because we can stop the chaos that's going on due to uh, ex not accepting others. And again, racism, xenophobia, and so on and so on. So uh, we are the generation that needs to educate ourselves and the next generations to be acceptance of others. Thank you. Thank you, Senka, for your impressive speech. Finally, I request Abbas Yadav of CSKM Public School India to present his speech. Thank you so much. Always aim at complete harmony of thought, word, and deed. Always aim at purifying your thoughts, and everything will be well. A noble thought by the father of a nation, Mahatma Gandhi. Good afternoon, respected Madam Principal, all its creators from the world, and my very dear fellow participants. And my very dear fellow participants. I have heard all my brothers and sisters express their views on their roles in upholding world peace and harmony. I would also take this opportunity to present my own opinion today. So here I go. When people implore what is peace and harmony, I would say that it is an immense joy in having the feeling of equality in our hearts towards everyone in the world, based on color, caste, creed, and religion, etc. And treating them with respect and pure love. I believe that peace can only be maintained in any country when its government treats its citizens equally and respectfully. It is then will the country's people can express their brotherhood towards all. We should invest thoughts and benefits of peace and harmony in the hearts of children who are going to lead this entire world towards a righteous path to love. We need to prevent wars and maintain peace and harmony in the world at any cost. The reason why wars break out is due to the lack of love towards people and lack of respect towards different religions in the world. People these days get easily manipulated into doing wrong acts such as terrorism. It happens due to the paucity of peaceful and harmonious feelings in their hearts. This reminds me of Oliver Wendell Holmes, who said that the only condition for peace in this world is to have no ideas, or at least not to express them. Every human being deserves respect, no matter what religion or social status he or she belongs to. This is the basic criteria to prove that we all are civilized human beings. Peace and harmony is always needed in a country for developing beautiful relations such as brotherhood and sisterhood. Towards all. We all have to love and care about everyone equally, even if they are not our blood relations. It is only when the citizens' people, it is only when the country's people are at peace and harmony, the government of the nation can govern the nation efficiently and people will follow the rules and obey the 
at the standards set by the respective governments. Finally, I would like to conclude by saying that peace and harmony is not only needed among people, but also among countries in order to make this entire beautiful world a better place for everyone to live in. Now, at the end, I would say an infamous Sanskrit phrase that is Vasudhev Kutumbakam, which stands for the whole earth is like our family. So we should take the inspiration from this phrase and promise to ourselves to spread peace and harmony in our hearts first and then to this entire beautiful world. Thank you very much for your patient listening. Thank you so much, Akash, for your incredible speech. Due to technical problems, Atul Sharma wasn't able to display his presentation about this school. So I request Atul to speak once again. Hello, good afternoon, everyone, once again. <clears throat> now, today I'm going to tell you something in brief about my school, CSM Public yeah. School. So our school is basically situated in New Delhi, the capital of India. CSKM is a co-educational English medium school affiliated to the Central Board of Secondary Education or CBSC. Our school has boarding and long hours day boarding facility. Now, the motto of our school is busy with pleasure. Our school has a nil failure system because our school believes that every child is a winner. Every child can be developed and improved. He can be guided towards success. He can be groomed to be a successful human being. Now, our school has a wide infrastructure. Our school is sitting in the lap of clean, green, and serene environments of the mother nature. Our school is a modern gurukul, which blends the modern with the ancient Indian wisdom. The CSKM offers a clean, green, and serene atmosphere to its students on a vast and viable campus in the South Delhi institutional area. The campus has a huge open spaces, playgrounds, ventilated study areas that allow a child to open their vistas and mind horizons to immense possibilities. Because some, uh, someone has said that the best ideas come in open areas. The infrastructure works hand in hand with the educators to provide wide range of facilities and opportunities to each and every child. Our school has been developing personalities of each and every child and lifting spirits. Talking about the academic blocks, our school has a multi-story block houses, which has many laboratories for physics, chemistry, biology, math, psychology, accountancy, computer, language, etc. We have a big library with 21,000 plus books. Club rooms like eco, dance, music, art, craft, IT support, smart classes, etc. Now, talking about the primary section for the nursery to grade third, our school has a primary section which provides wide and open spaces that children need to run around and develop. It provides a safe and secure environment in which their mental abilities can blossom. Over and above the gentle and considerate mentors at CSKM promote their social and emotional well-being. Children grow up as confident, well-adjusted adults. So thank you very much for your patience. Now, these are the some um, snapshots of our school infrastructure. Thank you so much for your pleasure. Namaste. <laughs> thank you so much, Atul. Now, I request our HOD English, Ms. Madhavita Nagpata and Jyoti Mukherjee to moderate the next segment of today's program. Thank you so much, dear students. It is a great, great honor bestowed upon us. Before we begin, I would like to quote a lyrical verse from the famous, by the famous bard or poet, Kabir Das. Guru Govind do khade, kake lago pai, balihari guru apne govind dio batai. The translation, I translate over here. The bard Kabir Das, he says that he is very puzzled because Guru, the teacher, and Govind, the 
Almighty God, both are standing before him. Whom should he pay the first obeisance? And then he says that this dilemma is over because I will touch the feet of my guru or teacher first because he is the one who has shown me the path to Almighty God through by imparting knowledge. So I pay my, I bow down to all the educators of the world over present over here. Now, it's such a fortunate thing for us to be the audience of such eminent educators from the world. Now, I request my, Mr. Chidip Mukherjee to do the honor of conducting the teacher's talk. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for this wonderful opportunity. Namaste and good afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> now, very cordially, I invite Ms. Christina Tanavalov, HOD English Department, Kilana Jaya 1, Primary School, Kilana Jaya, Malaysia, to enlighten us. Hello, everyone. A very good day to all our distinguished guests, heads of schools, heads of English departments, teachers, students, and everyone present here. I'm Christina David, head of English panel, Lana Jaya One Primary School, Malaysia. I'm indeed very honored that my school is part of this very prestigious ceremony. First of all, let me thank Madam Madamita, HOD English Department, CSKM Public School, Sudbury, New Delhi, for giving Klana Jaya One uh, Primary School the opportunity to participate in today's international webinar. In conjunction with India's 75th years of independence celebration. Uh, before I go on further, I would like to introduce um, my school headmistress, who is also here with us, uh, Madam Zaiza Abdullah. So she would like she would she would like to say hi to all of you, Madam Zaiza. Hi. Hello, everybody. Welcome, ma'am. Yes, welcome. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Thank you, Madam Zaiza, uh, and our senior assistant for administration and curriculum, Mr. Jamali Said. He's also here. He's also joining us. Hi, hello. Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> okay, and uh, with my headmistress is also uh, my English teachers, okay? So I'm very proud to say that we have a strong team of uh, English teachers uh, and uh, we do a lot of things in our school here. Okay, um, so um, thank you. Um, um, okay, so Klana Jaya One Primary School, um, is located in the heart of the city called Slango and circling the capital of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Maybe I'm sure you have heard of uh, Kuala Lumpur. Uh, we have about 600 students plus students in our school and 42 teachers. Our main official language is the Malay language and uh, English language um, is the second language and it also plays a very important role uh, in our country, especially when we collaborate with schools around the world. Uh, our English panel consists of seven English language teacher, teachers and my team and I, we organize various activities for students at school level uh, and also internationally. For the last five years, a group of students have visited countries such as New Zealand, Australia, Korea, and we have a strong bond with, our, with Incheon Xinchong Elementary Korea, which is also our sister school. Even during the pandemic, we had an online program for our students, whereby our students corresponded via email with two schools from Korea, and we even had a mentor from Punjab. Okay, so uh, these are the things we have been doing during our pandemic. And uh, here, I would like to extend uh, my invitation to all the schools here present here to come over to our, our, our school, maybe when everything is COVID is over. Okay, so, and we really hope to organize similar programs in the next few months, and I hope to collaborate with some of the schools present here. If any of you, let me repeat, if any of you interested, please do leave your email address in the chat box. So definitely, uh, Madam Madhumita School, your school is definitely in, okay? Uh, so, and then uh, please do leave your email address in the chat box, and we will get in touch with you with further information as soon as possible. For today's program, I would like to say that this is what I call taking students beyond uh, the classroom. 
collaboration with different schools from different countries make students develop higher thinking skills and build leadership, leadership skills. I think this is what we want for our students, right? And I believe today we got to know about different countries and their culture. Okay, a quote from Paul Solas, collaboration allows us to know more than we are capable of knowing by ourselves. So um, before I end my speech, uh, once again, I'd like to congratulate um, the, this International Webinar Organizing Committee for the job well done. Congratulations. And I think you all deserve a round of applause. And I hope to see all of you soon in another collaboration, in another event, or maybe face to face. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you very much. Bye. Thanks so much, ma'am, for your presence. <coughs> Next up, I request Ms. Stasa Pesic Milano, Headmistress, 8 September School, Serbia, to share with us her valuable inputs. Um, hello. Sorry um, to interrupt. Uh, my name is Stasha and uh, I'm from Pirot, Serbia. Uh, Pirot is a small town in the southeast of Serbia and uh, Serbia is in Europe, as you know, I guess. I work in a primary school, so my uh, two students are uh, students from a primary school. They are 13 years old, and our school is um, for children from 7 uh, to 14. Uh, and uh, it was a glad, uh, great pleasure and honor to be a part of this project. And um, um, I maybe um, somehow regret for this COVID situation. And uh, our school um, um, has um, begun working um, uh, recently, so uh, we are we were closed. And um, I can say that um, this kind of an uh, opportunity is great um, uh, for our children, uh, our students, to improve their language, to learn something new about some other culture and uh, something about um, uh, the role the students uh, now holding a world peace and harmony. And uh, we're all uh, great because uh, uh, we were a part of that. And uh, we hope all uh, that we will be um, also invited uh, for some other projects. Thank you. Greetings from Pirot Saria. Bye. And you were great. <laughs> we have to say. Thank you, ma'am, for your priceless words. Now, uh, I invite... Mr. Tridip, hello? Yes. Hello, yes. Mr. Tridip. I'm sorry to interrupt, but yes. uh, Mr. Satyabrata Saha is uh, on unmute. Uh, that is why, you know, there has been a little disturbance while others are speaking. Yeah, now he's muted himself. Okay, thank you. Please continue. Yes. Okay. Now, I invite Mr. Sotubrutu Shaha, HOD English Department and Coordinator, the Ebenezer International School, Bangladesh, to present his precious views. Thank you very much. I am Sotubrutu Shaha. I am speaking from Dhaka, Bangladesh. First of all, I would like to congratulate and uh, extend my thanks for arranging such a beautiful program. Um, in uh, celebration of the 25th, 25 years of Indian uh, independence, you have arranged this beautiful program inviting uh, schools from uh, different regions of the world. So education has actually changed its dimension over the past few decades. We have seen that education isn't actually you know, confined in, uh, in its own arena. Uh, we are extending and we are reaching out and this is a wonderful step you have taken to call us uh, to uh, to have us in a greater uh, perspective. And uh, it's really wonderful. I would like to appreciate your journey. Uh, ours is a small school. Uh, name suggests that it's a Christian school. It's a Christian school, Ebenezer International School. And uh, students uh, from uh, you know a range of countries uh, come here to have the education. Especially this education is for the Korean. Um, uh, expatriate Bangladeshi, those who are working in Bangladesh, first they established this school, but uh, uh, we have also um, the native students here and students from India, uh, Colombo and Singapore, uh, other parts of the world, they come here for uh, international education. We have an international curriculum. Uh, we, are, we are doing a British curriculum nowadays. Uh, yeah, uh, previously we have Excel. now that we have shifted to Cambridge curriculum. And uh, we believe that uh, education 
is not only curriculum uh, or education is not only kind of traditional curriculum. The curriculum uh, has to engage so many things. And we believe that love is at the core of teaching. Uh, teachers, we teachers, we believe that the, uh, if we do not have love in our heart, then teaching doesn't uh, mean anything to the students. So uh, this is our motto. We try our students to be uh, uh, you know, um, uh, reflective uh, and uh, problem solving and also um, and they, um, they can contribute to the world peace and harmony. I love this topic that the students role in, you know, held, holding out the world peace and harmony. This is wonderful. And the students are de doing really well. And I hope that uh, next time uh, the, all, the, all the schools, uh, those who have been invited here, they will take uh, some initiative uh, to call this kind of program so that we can work together. Thank you very much, Madam Modumita and um, all the teachers here. Uh, thank you very much. I'm really proud of you. And I also uh, we also uh, congratulate you, also try to appreciate your effort uh, to um, uh, celebrate 25 years of Indian independence. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for your invaluable ideas. It's time to call upon Neelam Baniya Badu, Headmistress, Navjeevan High Secondary School, Samakushi, Nepal, to share with us her wise ideas. Am I audible? Yes, okay. Namaste, everybody. Namaste. Uh, myself, Neelam Baniya, representing Navjeevan Educational Academy, Kathmandu, Nepal. Uh, respected uh, principal, Madam Pakuntala, uh, Madam Deepika, Madam Madhumita, all the faculty members and all the students from uh, CSKM and all the educators and students from all around the world. First of all, I'd like to take this moment to thank um, CSKM Colonel Sapsangi Kiran Memorial School. I, I hope I said it properly. <laughs> I practiced it. <laughs> Um, Colonial Satsangi Kiran Memorial School uh, for organizing such a wonderful program, such a wonderful thematic program uh, for our students and providing our school and our students an opportunity to participate on uh, this program. Thank you so much for all the efforts that you have um, uh, put together. Uh, it, it is vividly seen, the, the process and thoughts that you have put together. And um, uh, I would like to thank our Sani ma'am as well, Sani Moharjan ma'am, who coordinated the program, and uh, my dear student as well. Sani ma'am, would you like to say hi, if you are hearing me? Yeah, I'm here. Namaskar, everybody, Namaskar. and hello. Namaskar, ma'am. Yes. Thank um, you, Sani Moharjan. Um, yes. So um, we represent uh, Navajivan Educational Academy, and um, the, uh, I love the title of the program, Ad Adadika Amrit Mahotsav. Yeah, so I'd like to, um, you know, uh, while I'm sitting and listening to all of the educators, all of the students and everyone from around the world, I was like, um, you know, I would like to take a moment of uh, thankfulness for putting all of us together and uh, putting our students through a critical learning process. And um, the, the theme where uh, patriotism and peace and harmony, the, the students' role in peace and harmony, which are very important for all of us. Um, including the students and teachers and everyone here. So I'd like to wish happy Independence Day to all of you and uh, may God bless you and always keep you free and happy forever. Thank you so much for your uh, uh, coordination throughout our ISA journey. And I'd like to share the good news that we have won the ISA award as well. And um, I know this, this, uh, this coordination and this togetherness of our journey will uh, last longer and we hope to you know like I think uh, it was Lena ma'am someone from um I'm sorry if I said the name incorrectly from Malaysia we'd like to be uh, one of your partners school as well as all of uh, the other teachers and the students were sharing the dimension of education have changed and there's like a lot of platform for us as a teachers, educators, and uh, for students to learn from various other countries and other cultures that me myself have learned a lot of things about other schools and other countries. And um, so I would like to take the opportunity to thank once again CSKM and uh, all of you involved there. Namaste and have a good day. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Your views are invaluable. Now I invite Ms. Naval Manik, head teacher, Government Girls High Secondary School, Mong, Bahauddin, Pakistan, to share with us her knowledgeable views. Assalamu alaikum. I am Naval Manik from GGHS Mong, Mandi Bahauddin, Pakistan. Uh, I am very glad to deliver my words on such a momentous occasion. Uh, it is a huge honor for me and my students to participate in this online session being organized by CSKM. Uh, it was a great experience to cooperate with you peoples. Uh, I value your opinion and appreciate the information and the time given to this event. I think it was a positive gesture for all of us. Uh, thank you to each of you for organizing such a marvelous event. I truly appreciate your teamwork skills. Uh, and the last, uh, let me know if you need anything else. Uh, we are looking forward for the next project. Thank you once again. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. We are very fortunate to listen to your wonderful mm -hmm. views. Now I request Ms. Ripka, Principal Sekola, mm -hmm. Dian Harappan, Medan, Indonesia to enlighten us with her insightful views. Hello, can you hear me clearly? Yes, ma'am. Ya, apa kabar semuanya? This is a greeting in Asa Indonesia, you who are here, I'm very glad to be invited to this event. Yeah. The one that I know here is a fellow teacher from Malaysia. Yeah, but I'm glad to be invited. And this is my first time to be introduced to India country. So I'm very glad. Congratulations on the 75th year of Indian Day. Yeah, I'm glad that you helped this event to gather so many nations under your celebrations can meet each other and respect each other. Yeah, it's uh, my pleasure to meet fellow educators and students from India, Malaysia, Serbia, Ukraine, Nepal, Egypt, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. Nice to meet you all. I believe in spite of the difference languages and cultures, we can respect and learn from each other. Especially through this event, we have a saying in Bahasa Indonesia, tak kenal maka tak sayang. It means if you don't know, then you cannot care for each other. Then we have known each other, then it's a starting point for us, though we are in different countries, we can start to care for each other. And maybe this is just a small step, but it is also a small step of peace that your school has done for all of us here. So we can learn to know each other and we can learn to uh, show care and love to each other. SDH is Sekolah Dian Harapan Medan. It is uh, one of the 13 units of Sekolah Dian Harapan in Indonesia. So we are SD in Indonesia. There are 13 others. Yeah, and we are located. Yeah, we are only an elementary school. We do not have the junior, junior, uh, high, or senior schools yet, but probably in coming years we'll have it. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. You were so eloquent. Finally, I request Ms. Deepika Ebrol, Headmistress, CSKM Public School, India, to say a few words on education. Unmute Ma'am, please unmute yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yes. Namaste. Good afternoon. Good evening uh, to all my fellow fraternity from across the world, to the dear, dear students 
And uh, I think the world's in safe hands with the students uh, so clearly, uh, critically, uh, after much forethought and thinking, talking about peace, about harmony, about helping others. And uh, I think it was so poignant of the students talking about that it begins with, with me. It begins with the person, with the individual. And then the ripples of peace and harmony and uh, you know, coexistence, uh, they, uh, they uh, spread out to the whole world. Um, so with uh, gratitude, with humility, uh, and again, uh, reinforcing, you know, a student uh, used a, uh, the phrase of Sanskrit, Vasudhaya Kutumbakam, Vasudha hi Kutumb hai. I'll translate in English, Vasudha is the mother earth that's providing for everybody. So the entire earth is one family, and I think we've just proved it in a mini way. In our schools, uh, there were there were students, and there were um, uh, uh, the headmistress and HODs talking about diversity in their schools. Uh, and today, on this platform, we are so beautifully interacting, and doesn't look like it's not one family. So hats off to everybody. Uh, truly a pleasure. Um, I've been uh, like uh, Neelam Banya and others were talking about. We met them earlier in our in our ideas journey, and. Uh, 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 it's gladdens the heart, the awareness of the children, their creativity, their self-composed poems, uh, delightful Muhammad, the, the Malaysian little child, uh, Raya, uh, so delightfully depicting the same, such a young, young uh, boy, if I remember, of 12 years old. Um, how much relevance, you see COVID had, has its downsides and the upside is technology, upside is collaborating, upside is reaching out, upside is these children talking about sharing and giving out a helping hand. I think it's, it's kudos to each one of the educators and the students because they are the ones who are mentoring. They are mentoring, whether it's a parent, it's a teacher, you are the ones, we are the ones who are mentoring these kids and they have it in them. So to the students, I would just give out a message. Dream, dream big, and take your fellow friends along. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am, for your amazing message. With this, we come to the end of this segment of Teacher's Talk. Indeed, it was so edifying and enriching for the audience. I thank all the teachers who joined today's session and shared their valuable views with the audience. We are really grateful to all of you, ma'am. And sir, we are very happy today to have amongst us Dr. Parvez Alam, who has judged the two events of poetry recitation and also speech. Dr. Parvez Alam, I would like to shed some light on today's program. Dr. Parvez Alam, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Please share your thoughts with the students over here. Namaskar. Namaskar. Are you able to listen uh, to me? Am I audible? A bit louder. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We yeah. are. Okay, okay. So, uh, already a lot of people have taken a lot of time. So, thank you very much for again inviting me as a judge and giving this uh, opportunity and honoring me. Actually, much has been said, so I do not want to say so many things. There is one thing, one uh, a teacher who was telling from Bangladesh very rightly, that education uh, does not only mean acquisition of bookish knowledge and pass through the ordeals of examination. It also aims at unfolding the latent talents of the children. And this is the kind of activities which you the CSKM Delhi has organized is really giving the great platform to the children of the world and the globe to grow and they know each other and main thing they are able to express and sometimes we do not know which child has a great talent. I would not like to say about intonation and now any pronunciation. The program was fantastic. The pro program was very nice. Every child had spoken wonderful, special thanks to Madam Madhumita, Ma'am Principal, and uh, choosing this very topic also. The topic was very relevant in the global scenario. And uh, Ma'am Madhumita has always been wonderful. It is not only today, I know her. 
And you know, there is only one, uh, I am incidentally reminded of one incident from the Bible, which I would like to tell and relate right now and close myself, that once in a parable, there is a Bible, just I was reminded and I wrote it, there is a written, are all of you audible to me, please, all the audience men? Okay. Even this, this was mentioned in one parable, went again, when Jesus reached, reached to the seashore, the sea turned into red wine. Again, I repeat this line from the Bible. When Jesus reached to the seashore, the sea turned into red wine. Lots of scholars, historians, and intellectuals have given their interpretation on this. But I tell you, 150 years ago, in an English, in an uh, school of England, the teacher just told this line and asked the children to write their own interpretation. There was one child of only 12 years old. Within a five minutes, he wrote one line and submitted it to the teacher. When the teacher opened it, it was really remarkable. Before that, what he wrote, I would like to say, sometimes sea has been used as feminine gender and the ocean as masculine gender. So this was the very line from the Bible told by the teacher, when Jesus reached to the seashore, the sea turned into red wine. The child had written that the sea saw her master and blushed. The sea saw her master and blushed. A lot of scholars have written in different and differing ways, but this kind of explanation was remarkable and still people remember this line. So this is the kind of opportunity that a teacher had given to the child and he wrote it. And I would like to tell you, ma'am, and the children and all the participants, that child became a great poet of English and he was Lord Byron. The Byron, he was a Byron. And this very explanation that when Jesus reached to the seashore, the sea turned into the red wine, he wrote, the sea saw her master and blushed. So this is the kind of expression that we get from the children, which is remarkable, only when we give them opportunity, even we learn from the students. So only this much I would like to say and congratulate everyone. And I also extend my also honor, respect to ma'am principal, all my colleagues, the vice principals and the teachers, thank you very much and have a good day ahead and may God save us from the deadly child of the corona that is micron. What is this? Emicron, sorry. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Madhimita, ma'am. And thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for your uh, useful and inspiring words. Now, I'm so sorry, uh, I just skipped this, but I would like to invite Ms. Geraldine Raj, the education officer of Malaysia to enlighten all of us. She has, been, she has accepted to be the special guest today and really it was a real fortune for us. Thank you, ma'am, for accepting it, please. Thank you, thank you. So um, good afternoon and good evening. I believe it's evening for some of us. Yeah, uh, to um, Madam uh, Shakuntala, yeah, Madam uh, Madhu Mita. I'm sorry, I uh, kind of missed out uh, the um, headmistress name, yeah, of Colonel uh, Satsangis Kiran Memorial Public School. I hope I said that right as well. Yeah, uh, acknowledging Madam Zaiza, Encik Jamali, uh, Madam Christine, and the staff of Klana Jaya One Primary School. Uh, to all the uh, heads of schools, heads of departments, yeah, and uh, all uh, teachers as well as uh, the pupils who are uh, in on this uh, webinar, yeah, from the different countries. I am actually um, indeed very honoured, yeah, to be uh, invited as a special guest here and to share a few words. Now, on behalf of the Pataling Utama District Education Office, I would like to uh, congratulate yeah, uh, the organizing committee, yeah, especially uh, Dr. Shakuntala and you know your whole team okay, in organizing this international webinar. Uh, and um, 
you know, towards uniting our countries and culture through education. Uh, I am actually in awe and total appreciation of the uh, effort put in by the teachers and trainers of these wonderful children. And to all of the student participants, um, I'm actually really, you know, it was just excellent uh, listening to how proud you are of your schools, okay? Um, I'm also truly amazed, okay, at the poetry recitation, um, the speeches, your ideas, you know, uh, you keep this passion up, okay? You are the upcoming leaders, okay? And um, you actually have begun your roles, uh, your tasks, okay, in bringing closer our brothers and sisters, you know, from the different parts of the world, okay, um, regardless of our color, you know, our creed, okay, our race, okay, and um, upholding uh, the world's peace and harmony. A special thanks, actually, to your parents and your families who have shown you support in this beautiful effort. I'd like to share a quote uh, by Fred Rogers. Every child is a different kind of flower and all together make this world a beautiful garden. So please nurture this beautiful garden. And uh, once again, congratulations to the organizing team to all of you who have participated in the different countries. It's such a pleasure to see all of you and to be part of this international webinar. So uh, keep up this good uh, initiative. God bless you for all your efforts. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your inspiring words. It will always be there with us. Now, very cordially, I request our principal, Dr. Shakuntala Satrangi, chairman, to address and part with the words of wisdom to the eminent national and international guests, audience. Ma'am. Well, a very, it's good evening here. So very good evening, good morning, good afternoon to all of you. Uh, it's a pleasure absolutely to have so many uh, distinguished teachers and educators from across the world. And I am so thankful to you for having agreed to join us in the celebration of the 75 years of Indian independence and making our children think about what is independence, what is our status vis-a-vis -vis other countries, other nations, and what is the importance of both patriotism and peace across the world. I must congratulate the children whose excellent thoughts expressed so lucidly amazed me actually. I was amazed that this is how the children think about the world and the future. And like Deepika said, the world is in good hands, definitely. So I'd also like to uh, 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 give a special mention to the youngest, I think youngest of the participants here, Bin Nazim from Malaysia. Uh, excellent, uh, very sweet presentation by you, dear. Uh, it was a short but meaningful program. And I'm thankful to each one of you for the cross-cultural connect and collaboration. I would also like to invite all of you to uh, Delhi, okay? Uh, we are a boarding school. We have a lot of space here where we can host you on the campus, take care of you and have an exchange with you and your students. So it will be an absolute pleasure once the situation of COVID has settled, if you all can make, make out some trips here and then probably we will reciprocate by making a trip to your country as well. Uh, so I thank all the uh, educators here, beginning with uh, Christina uh, from uh, Malaysia, 
uh, Stasa from Serbia, uh, Mr. Satyabrata Saha from Bangladesh, Neelam Banya from Nepal, Nawal Manik from Bahauddin, Pakistan, Ribka from Indonesia, and of course Deepika uh, from uh, our very own India. So thank you for being with us in this glorious uh, celebration. And my heartiest thanks to Madhumita and uh, uh, her team of friends and teachers and colleagues who have been able to put up this great program where we could really listen to our, the thoughts of the children all over the world and see how much of similarity there is in their thoughts and how open they are to the idea of uh, crossing over and going to different places, meeting people, talking to people, and most of all, you know, feeling a sense of oneness across the entire human race. So I would, I'm really grateful to all of you for having, you know, given us the time and uh, come on this platform and join this uh, humble event of ours. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you so much. much. Yeah, and thank you to, to Dr. Parvez, uh, who is a former HOD from here, and he's a director in one of the schools now, uh, not in Delhi. So thank you, Dr. Parvez, for joining us. I'd also like to say, yeah, that we had uh, decided to uh, uh, judge the students and uh, give certificates. But now after seeing the participation, I feel Madhumita, we should give a, part, a participation and certificate of honor to each and every student who has joined us here today and also a, a felicitation certificate to all the educators who joined us here today. So we can prepare that and send it by mail. And a very, very special thanks to uh, Ms. Geraldine uh, for, uh, you know, taking the time out, being an education officer. She is an <laughs> important person in that Thank country. You. Okay. And uh, we look forward to your visit also, ma'am, to our country. And uh, do visit our school you. whenever you're here. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you to everyone for your cooperation. God bless all of us. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. In fact, the faculty of CSKM is very fortunate enough to, uh, that we have our principal as Dr. Mrs. Shakuntala Tutangi chairman, because she has been giving us so many opportunities like this to venture into. Thank you, ma'am. Now, last but not the least, before rounding off today's session, I invite our respected vice principal, Mr. Shailendra Thakur, to present the vote of thanks to our national and international audience. <clears throat> Thakur, sir. Please unmute yourself, Mr. Thakur. Uh, Dr. Parvez, you need to mute yourself now. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am Madhumita, for inviting me for a vote of thanks. Uh, good evening to one and all present on this virtual platform of international webinar. Honorable principal of the host school, Dr. Shakuntala Jaman, School Improvement Specialist Coach, Specialist Coach, come District Education Officer of Malaysia, Ms. Gerardin Raj, Judge for today's event, Dr. Parvej Alam, our distinguished dignitaries of associate countries, our Vice Principal, Mr. Tyagi, Headmistress, Ma'am Deepika, and Coordinator of the host school, Ma'am Madhumita, and of course, our very dear students. As we all know, India is celebrating 75th year of independence under the theme, Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. For this, I on behalf of this international platform, want to congratulate our Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi ji for initiating this program. 
it is my privilege and honor for me to offer a vote of thanks on this occasion on behalf of karan satsangis kiran memorial public school new delhi i express my heartfelt congratulate gratitude to all the honorable speakers for sharing their graceful words with us on this platform i also take this opportunity to thank all the heads and other eminent speakers from our partner schools across the border for sharing their valuable views i must wholeheartedly thank for all our guest speakers especially to ms raj and dr parvez alam judge for the event for sharing some of the finest school related management practices especially quoted from the bible by dr alam all the participants of this webinar are extremely inspired by your highly sparkling words i am in immensely thankful to our honorable principal dr jaman for providing virtual platform of oneness for being the catalyst that stimulated us to do our best and stood as a pillar of strength behind this international webinar in an attempt to bridge the gap and bringing the children of the world together to promote universal peace and brotherhood in the midst of disturbed turbulent world i am extremely thankful to our head ministers to our vice principal also kept on providing necessary guidance and support whenever needed and my sincere heartfelt thank and gratitude to our it head mr ajay rati for providing technical support for this platform at last i am highly thankful to our event coordinator ma'am madhumita and her team ma'am prem and ma'am shilpi for organizing this event so successfully i shall be failing in my duty if i do not thank all our budding rocks who made this event joyful with their impressive words of wisdom with all the best for future thanks to all of you and i hope that similar event to be organized time and again so that our unity at least we, we should increase our number of countries and uh, more work i am requesting once again to ma'am madhumita to like uh, to organize uh, another uh, such kind of event so that uh, we can be like uh, fruitful with our children with our uh, other guest speakers thanks a lot once again god bless you to all of you thanks sir thanks thank you so much sir thank you ma'am okay with this we went today we end today's program thank you so much for making it so successful thank you sir thank you ma'am